hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl dawn b welcome so anyone knows what day it is today today is the first of march we gotta give god thanks for carrying us through one month can you believe it one month we still have to give god thanks don't that's a lot of days a lot of weeks so you gotta praise god hallelujah <laughs> all right so for this month we're gonna talk about how to manage your time last month we spoke about how to stay positive and I can believe or I can assume that a lot of persons were inspired about how to be positive all right so not because January gone you're gonna forget how to stay positive if you want to you know remember or to Click back that memory don't worry just go back on that channel sorry go back on that video and just watch it right anyways so as we said we're gonna talk about how to stay how to manage your time all right so if you want to stay tuned if you want to see how that one gonna be buzzy like my hair <laughs> stay tuned From a Dan B, everything Chris Make sure you don't miss this Laugh and have a good time All the vibes, how did Dan B this? Dan B share happiness Or we can discuss serious topics Like, comment, subscribe All the vibes, you need it It's the Dan B So y'all know the procedure for those who don't know and it's your first time being on the Don't Be Inspires um, It's okay, but I would like for you to just check out how to stay positive first and then you just jump into the lesson two All right, anyways, so The procedure is first we're gonna talk about what it is then two is why is it important and then three the interesting the reason why you're here is how to all right like home home you know so the first one is what it is time management is a strategy of planning out your available time and controlling the amount of time you spend on specific tasks in order to work more efficiently so for example this is the amount of time that is given to you this is the available time that you have and what time management is or what it does is for you to know how to control that available time spend on the different activities that you have to do so that you can work more smart more efficiently more effective yeah so that's what time management is why is it important when necessary where, where, where far where far <laughs> what is it for why is it important the five benefits that we're gonna look at the five importance of time management that we're gonna look at is one you become more efficient Two, you reduce your stress you you produce better work you boost your confidence and you deliver work efficiently are these self-explanatory maybe not but let me explain it reduce your stress for example you have so many things to do and because you did not plan out or it did not be or you weren't managing your time you start to wonder you start to stress out on about the different things that you gotta do and the time is not there and then the deadline is there and you just start yeah i'm very stuck and you're just flustered right so it, so you get stress but when you manage your time it reduces the stress you're no stress no more because you manage your time wisely all right the second one is it boosts your confidence when you manage your time, baby girl, baby boy. <laughs> when you do all those tasks, everything completed, you feel accomplished. You know? Yeah, me I top down. I just manage all of them something that we did over there. So me shell you down where you, where you feel like. Yeah, me, me and Bob the Builder. Me use you and build you. <laughs> what I'm saying is that you you feel more accomplished right you feel more confident you are motivated you are motivated because you finish your work you know, your confidence up your confidence up become more efficient is the third one i don't even remember which number i'm at i believe it's the third one 
when you become more efficient it means that you're more focused on doing that specific task right so for example you have five things to do but these three you know it, it it's, it's less work for you to do right so you, you cover them less one they cut a little bit of something and then when you have you do those three things in less than in the less time that you have right and then those these two now you know salad is some essay or some research that you have to do you know you have to spend a whole lot of time you understand so you use that wisely use your time wisely you spend these three small things that you gotta do in, a, in less than a minute or three minutes because you may just tea for one minute and have a break and you know have a little break so you just run go match up them trigger because a little something them can't deal with right when the meeting done now you go home you have two hours you just match up the two hours to do them to one year or probably more hours you don't know but because because you're efficient you do those tasks you match up them three years and deal with them two years another time if you weren't efficient then you, the, the little minutes them where you could have do them three years you have the five of them for do in a little time period you understand what i'm saying so you gotta think about that yeah think about that the next one is deliver on time deliver on time the task for example assignment you get to complete the assignment before the assignment due and you give it in at the, on the day on the due date or the deadline you give it in on the deadline right so if you were that type of person where maths up everything well you have some persons who are who are good when they're their mind is very active like Lord God deadline 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 no tomorrow and they work effectively but you have some persons now them brain just damage because Lord God at tomorrow I'm gonna start you know so it, it, it works differently for some people but if you know you're that person when you do all that three weeks and one month finish something manage your time wisely because it, it is beneficial to you and the work that you produce it shows that you manage your time all right so the last one now is how to manage your time when me have to do this how you do this all right you tell me the, what it is you tell me the importance me want to know now how do i manage my time these are the points my very very favorite one when i was younger and I was doing like exams, I have exams to do and I gotta study and all of that. My mommy always makes sure so she set up my timetable. Timetable for me was a must. And you see when I set up my, up to this day, I practice to set up a timetable. Because it may, it gives that, it gives my mind, like it programmed my mind to say, okay, on this time, this time, this day, this, you know. I stick to it and it makes me feel much lighter and more organized when I use my timetable and of course the second one would be take breaks in between take breaks in between because if you don't take breaks you're gonna spend too much time on one task and the other tasks are not doing all you see when you take breaks it also makes your mind lighter as we did say before in the other point it gives a relief right so for example your boss your brain me used to take breaks a lot when I had to do my research in college I take breaks because if I am doing a question and the question I boss my brain one hour I'm still left on the one question me now make you kill me sir me I go sit down and go and chill I need for chill you know whether I may go outside take some breathe or I'm gonna watch a movie take breaks in between the time all right between tasks so that's two point number three is prioritize wisely prioritize see me on the slide off for the thing <laughs> if you know so that task you don't make no sense don't put it in on the timetable don't do it you know so that gonna make your, your 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 energy drain you're tired and you just yeah it don't make no sense prioritize do the things that are more important you know you know we're, we're important now we're not important it may be for me it may not be for you you understand you just need to know what to prioritize prioritize wisely 
Number four, plan ahead. I have a friend that don't believe, say, it me not for plan. But him alright, him can sit down one side. <laughs> when me plan ahead, me can't, like me, I say, alright. Although it sometimes is good to plan ahead because they don't know what God say or God in, have in store for you. Because you can say, mm, today I'm Monday. Yeah, next week Sunday, I'm going to do this and do that. Wait, say, God up there, say, Really, my child, wait, look what I'm going to do. You know, it sometimes, that no, yeah, but that doesn't mean that you, you can't think about the future. Because you don't just, you know, always live, pre, you know, just there. Time and move, you know. So you have to plan ahead. Plan ahead of your time. Cool? That's point number and the last point is set a time limit to complete a task and this would come this would comes in with the timetable when you set say all right one o'clock to two o'clock we need to finish this assignment yeah put yeah tell your mind say a one hour may i give it so you say between them one hour then you know if you check your phone you know if you go outside go do nothing because it's a your time a waste and your one hour a waste so you need to look into that. Remember, you have a break schedule. So nobody, she texts me. What she say? Your time a waste. You know. So look into that also. Set a time to complete a task. All right. I hope these points, the topic was engaging to you. You understood it. It is inspiring. It inspired you, motivate you in some way or the other. Please don't forget to give it a like, a share, and comment down below on your achievement before. Like, um, how to stay positive was that effective between the time period, February 1 to March 1. How was it for you? Did you have any challenges between those periods? You know, let's talk, have a discussion. You don't know, my love, you know, my love to hear on opinions. I respect and love each and every one of you. So your opinions matter to me. Alright? So don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Don B. Hey. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys.